What's up, guys? Y'all know what day it is. Mac Tools Thursday. Sorry for all the noise. We're doing a lot of construction over here. So it's loud out here. So let's go in the truck, see what Mac Daddy Michael's got. Come on. Almost the weekend. We almost there. I am ready for it too. Ready, ready, ready. We're having a cooking at the house this weekend. What are y'all cooking? A uh, friend of ours is going to come over and cook quesadillas and we're going to smoke a bunch of wings and we got another, our beef back from the processor. We're gonna cook a bunch of fresh burgers and. That'll be good. It's, it's always nice to eat. We, uh, it's kind of a three birthday deal this weekend. My brother's birthday, sister's birthday, and then Ashley's dad's birthday. So just kind of having an all in one deal, I guess. That's good. That's a big old set right there. Yeah, I just got those in the other day. They, uh, it's a pretty neat deal. Expert set that's kind of all in one. Mm -hmm. It's got quarter drive, three eighths drive, half inch drive. No, it's just, excuse me, it's just quarter and three eighths. And it's got your wrenches and screwdrivers and all of it. Pretty nice. I like them. It's in them sets like that. You can grab the box and go. Mm -hmm. You know. And then, because a lot of your big box sets are, you know, they're square and boxy and bulky. You know, that one, I mean, yep. you got a regular cab pickup. You could take that and leave mm -hmm. it folded up and put it behind the seat if you needed to. What does it go up to? Uh, 15 sixteenths, no, one inch and 19 millimeter. On right. um, three eighths and then nine sixteenths and 14 on quarter. Yeah, that's a big old set. And if somebody, the, the neat thing about it is if somebody wanted to like take the top and bottom part of, Part and mm -hmm. just like put one in one drawer of a little roll cart and one in the other. They do it to where they give you these little pins. You can just pop them out. Just snatch them. Yeah, and then you can still put it back together and they aren't all out of white. Right. You know? So. That's yeah, a good that idea. Makes it pretty handy. That's a good looking seal puller set right there. I hadn't seen that before. It's usually hid by shelf and box. Yes. Yeah. We just staple it up anywhere we can find a spot to staple it. Normally that shelf's in there, but this box is so tall that mm -hmm. we had to pull the shelf out. What kind of bargains you got today? Still got some of the quarter drive stuff that was in the flyer. The, you buy the two for, pick two of the four. <clears throat> There's the half inch version of the 3.8 that everybody's been wanting to see. <coughs> Excuse me. I know that little 3.8 gun has been a impressive little booger. What's crazy is that video you did on that little quarter inch gun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that thing's style, ain't it? I've had several people have been on the truck asking about it ever since you did it. I don't understand why they only rated that thing at 71 foot-pounds when it'll do way more than that. Yeah, you know, I don't, 
But I should have put it at 171. Or if they did it, rated it at that to, therefore people wouldn't try to like grab a quarter inch gun and think they're gonna like break some fasteners, you know? Yeah. That you generally grab a quarter for. I, I don't know, but. It's way stronger than what they give it credit for. Absolutely. I like it because it's a lot. That's the that's the thing I like about it. And it's little. I mean, it's tiny. Yeah, it's tiny. There you go. See them side by side. I don't have the three eighths on here. I got to get those reloaded. But. And then this way. Not a whole lot. It of don't different. look that much, but <clears throat> I actually measured them. It's a good bit smaller. Is it? Mm -hmm. I know this part of it is a good bit bigger than this part. I mean, that's yeah. real, real small. Yeah, the front side you can really tell it. You can fit that Joker in some places. I got these in the other day. A new snap ring plier. push button deal. Mm-hmm. Just be able to quick connect from one to the other. You can go out with it or pull, pull them in or versus the ones that I've always had are the old right. we have to twist handle. Them. Yeah. Well they don't unscrew those are just a quarter turn deal. Oh, okay. That's but even better than the the where you gotta untwist it. it. Yeah. yeah. But I've sold a couple of sets of these recently and people are really liking them. So, and, uh, and it's just, that, that, that's the nice part of it is just having that little mm -hmm. quick connect, ball quick connect. But, so. How many pieces is in there? That one is a nine, it looks like. nine piece. You got your small ones, straight, 90, and then that's another 90 there. And you got your 45s for your different sizes there. And then you got your bigger three. Straight 45 and 90 on them. Yeah. They're getting good feedback on those. Yeah, that's a lot better than the, the set I got. You got to unscrew the little thing, and then I got tired of those, so I bought the ones from Snap On that are all you, that's made together. You know, you can't change them. So. You got to do either or. You got to have two different pair. Yep. So. so it takes up a whole drawer full of just snap ring pliers. But that's handy to just be able to swap them that easy. Yeah. Especially if you got stuff all over you and you're trying to fumble threading something together. Or that's right. Got a new flyer coming up, so. You got some good stuff in it? It's going to be some pretty good deals this go around. That's good. So. That's always nice when you can get some bargains in the flyer like that. That, uh, from time to time, they, you know, it, it's some of the same old stuff, but this is some stuff I hadn't seen in there before, so That's it good. should. Everybody keep an eye out and holler at your Mac guy. <laughs> there you go. Well, nothing else new on this side this time? No, no I don't think. I got to reload again this weekend. I don't know if you've seen those or not. Uh, That's clip a, pullers. Yeah, little bitty ones. Uh, kind of almost like a tack puller. They uh, run these on a thing the other day that I ordered. And versus your big old clip, you know, your regular Christmas trees. These are for more of your weather stripping mm -hmm. and things like that. that just have the little bitty ones in it. I had some of my body shop guys that were asking for a, a smaller clip puller. 
So you got that the V one, and then you also got the U, the U style. Yeah, those are pretty cool. Real thin, not real bulky. It's so thin, it? I can't even focus on it. Yeah, <laughs> a little bitty. Got a good handle on them too. I mean, oh yeah, it fits your hand good. It's almost like a scraper handle on. Kinda, there. yeah. That's the part number there on that set. Anybody's curious. Alright. Well, did uh did you get my RBRT bit in? I did not. So I'll check the computer on that. I don't that. even remember what size it was now. I'd, I'd have to go back and look at your text. I don't remember. Alright. Um, but it uh I got some new RBRT stuff I'm going to bring up next week and let everybody see. So, Cool. That'll be good. Some what? Stuff that's just in and whatnot. That's good. So you sold a couple of them impacts from yeah. that video? <laughs> I've already sold two and I got a couple more people that are wanting them. I reordered some the other day. And things are stout, man. I was, I was really surprised in it. That's why I really wasn't set up, you know, for anything bigger. Because I thought, man, if that does, if they got ready for 71, that's probably going to be where it maxes out at. I was kind of shocked. Whenever you had to leave your 3 8 drive torque wrench, I was like, uh-oh. They <laughs> yeah. screwed up on that rating. <laughs> yeah. That was bad. I had to get a half-inch torque wrench out to, to test a quarter-inch drive impact. That's crazy. And then, you know... You're going to have torque loss whenever you went to the adapter on it anyway. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if you would have had a socket that would have fit it, you know, in a quarter drive, which they don't even make, yep. uh, it really would have been impressive. <laughs> it was, I knew that bolt was fixing to break because when I torqued it to 60, I could feel it stretching, but I was just hoping it would click. Yeah. You know, because I knew that was going to be the max on that bolt anyway but I was just hoping I could like, squeeze 70 out of it and I knew it was fixing the brake before it broke I was like yep here we go but you're always hoping it'll click right before it snaps but oh well it worked good that goes to show it's close in line with the bit driver in that same platform yeah that's true it's probably the same motor both of them I figure I don't know why you'd change it when the other one did 200 one works that good, I don't know why you put another one in it. So. That's it. That's why I don't understand their torque rating on that, why they rated it so low, but I'm sure there's some mathematical genius set behind yeah. the desk saying rated at 71. So. Oh. He probably makes more than me and you and Wilson all combined just to stick a number on the tool. So. But anyway, I guess we're going to get in here and get back to work. We're waiting on one part so we can finish the job and then get it out of here and get a paycheck. So that'll be a good day. All right, guys. Like always, thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. They're totally free. It never costs you a dime. Over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, take your finger and click that button. You guys have a great week. Remember, it's just one more day. See ya.